I always have problem with punishment, problem with judgment. People say, I must punish. Some people I saw on TV years ago saying, I must punish these people on behalf of God. I said the other day too. So that is very bothering for me. I mean, you don't have I am not somebody who can punish people on behalf of God. A God can do whatever God, God, God knows what to do, and He does, or she does. But who am I to punish some human being on behalf of God? That's not me. So when somebody else, some individual who says, I must punish the people on behalf of the God, this and that person. I have a problem with that. So, and also, uh, and also, you know, even the imprisonment, imprisonment is our society's way of putting a people away. That's a fine putting a people away for the safety of other people as well as safety of themselves. And it is a great opportunity for those people to think, uh, to change, to recreate, restructure their life, however long it may take, year or years or whatever. And that, I don't have a problem. That has to happen. But that as a punishment, I have looking as punishment, I do have a problem. I like to see all prison uh, as correction center, and the prisoners are candidates for improving their character their individual way of thinking, and that's how we have to think. If we think that way, and we will have a much better society. And uh, other than that, thinking that as punishment, taking away, you know, so punishment is a problem for me. So, so mind of punishing can be me. So I don't want any meanness with anybody. Uh, with, with, but then sometimes people may think if you don't have some meanness, you will, people don't respect you. Um, I noticed when I was a young, I was a young, and um, and I, fortunately, the meanness is a very little within me. Honestly speaking, very little within me. And even if it pops up, it doesn't last a couple of seconds. It gets, it somehow disappears. And I'm very grateful for that. I'm very happy, and uh, I'm happy to share with my friends, and that I'm really happy with this. So when I was a young, uh, the, so in the society where I was, and as being in Ghana, the Lama, I do have to gain certain respect, but but suddenly. And many people will sort of look at you as a light, very light person, because you have no heaviness, meanness. So they will, they will consider you little light. And uh, maybe because of that, that, people may not respect you as much as, as. Uh, but later, and when you become older, I don't know, maybe because of the age or whatever, people seem to respect you 
more. And uh, so it doesn't have to have a meanness to gain respect. So meanness is, um, meanness, if you really look very carefully, meanness does not really give you respect. Meanness will give you people who try to avoid you. It's better that you better not come in contact with that person much because he will catch you later. So that's what people say many times. So mean, being mean doesn't have goodness at all. And um, also desire of harming others. I always wanted to harm people, like a snake, poisonous snakes have the, you know, mind of hurting anybody coming nearby. All the, you know, poison snake makes surrounding area is poison covered so that no one comes near, right? So, if we've been very mean and we wanted to hurt people and we're behaving like poisonous snake. And not only you yourself is poisonous, but you make a surrounding with you. People who like you, people who love you, people who is your family people who are connected with you, also you affect those people with that meanness and heart and uh, hatred. Hatred. Always wanted to hurt. So this is one thing not to do. So, um, So, and then, of course, of course, from the Buddhist point of view, and then we call it a wrong view. And um, that is uh, the third one. So, wrong view is actually something which you have it. You try to believe is not there. Not there. Or something is not there and then you try to believe it is there, try to make it. So, and then believing and, and making your life miserable by doing that and creating a very terrible negativity for you as well as for other people who come in contact with you. So these are the three by mind. So actually what we covered today is, uh, is the four by speech and the three by mind and these are known as ten negativities. The three by physical and the other day we talked. So combine them together is called ten negativities. So these are the meant to be avoided because, because that creates disharmony, that creates unhappiness, even in your own mind, even you are living by yourself with a beautiful house, beautiful view, beautiful environment, Yet, if you are covered yourself with all these negative thoughts, ideas of these three things, this really makes you miserable, make you very tired, make you unhappy, because these are the consequences of those thoughts. If you want yourself happy, Avoid those thoughts. 
if you want yourself to relax, relieve those thoughts. These thoughts is when they are tightening you. You make yourself like a, you know, like a like a little doll that tight with a whatever the you know it looks like a doll, Barbie doll. You tied by rope, tied by rope. In addition, that thin and tight enough, so you put more rope in there tight. So that's what these three mental activities do. So if you want happiness, if you want joy, if you want to enjoy your life, and if you want to have good time. For you, by you, by yourself, avoid those. Each and every one of them really tight you, more tighter, more tighter, more difficult. These are not discipline. These are the these are the obligations. These are the these are the this may this forcing you. Like a slave, although no physical a person standing there and telling you do this and do that, but you making yourself so unhappy, you making yourself so not relaxing, you you making yourself waiting for take revenge, you making yourself to to harm. Other people, so you have to be very alert, and all this, you know. Even recently, you see on the television show called Revenge, and when you look, I said I did see that Revenge a couple of times. When you look at the Revenge, each and every one of the persons in there having a miserable time, miserable time because we created. They themselves created for themselves to get in that. This is a great example for us to see. Without knowing, we make ourselves be controlled by those. We make ourselves a slave of those emotions. Honestly, because because that's the. That is the really the source of unhappiness. With those three mental activity, mental negativities, mental negativity, and everything negative emotions are connected with this. Anger is very much connected. Hatred is a part of it. A jealousy. Will be very much connected and almost the branch of it. It and um, then uh, um, obsession is very much part of it. And uh, so almost all our unhappiness are really coming from from those three points. If you read certain texts and transcripts, there may be a little bit of old technical languages maybe using here and there, but the reality really is、uh, what we have to avoid is mental negativities, and that also three of those. Those three really make yourself slave of. Your own mind. You make yourself a slave. So if you want to be happy, if you want to have joy, you want to have a comfortable life, you look after those three. Make sure those ugly heads are doesn't pop up. Hit them. Smash them. Destroy them. And when you can't destroy them, suppress them. 
when you can't suppress them, cut them into pieces. And uh, most important, to not entertain. If you try to entertain them, they can't control you. Control you. And uh, if you are not controlling that, by not entertaining that, by not entertaining that, by controlling that, this is not going to create any trouble for your life. Sometimes we may think, if I don't do that, people will look down on me. I said earlier, remember? Give you an example of my life as a kid and uh, as a middle-aged person and uh, as old man. So I can see myself the meanness, hatred does not make you make you deep and a heavy person. Honesty, kindness, compassion, genuine love, genuine caring makes you a very great person, very deep people, doesn't make you shallow, make you very deep. Meanness and uh, hatred, obsessionist will make you shallow person doesn't make you deep person. So the hesitation, if I don't have, don't have it, the meanness, if I don't have hatred, if I don't have obsession, I'm not a strong person. That's not correct. That is a wrong view. That is really misinformation that give us very miserable. So that's what it is. And um, so, so when they say, when they say avoid negativities, so this is first action. And uh, there's avoiding 10 of those. And um, that is basically very important. But then you know what happened is, by avoiding those ten of the wrongdoing, opposite of it, you are creating ten positives. Ten positives, not killing, not a, not not a lying, not a cheating, not being uh, being. Uh, uh, not engaging in hatred, then the opposite of it will create a positive things. So when the, when the Buddha said avoid the negative negativities, and build positivities, which is exactly what it is. So I like to cover that much today, and the saying that this ten of them. Avoiding. When you avoid that, it automatically builds a positiveness in that. And always remain kind, compassionate as your motivation, kind, compassionate as your, as your encouragement, kind, compassionate as you go. So what the good old Tibetan monastery talk, saying, I live with the compassion. I lie down with the compassion. I sleep with the compassion. I get up with the compassion. I walk with the compassion. I eat with the compassion. I drink you with compassion. I act compassionate. I always punch you with the compassion. So if you do that, your life will be perfect. Compassion is always with the love. Love and compassion are together. It's not separation. 
that's how we should function our life. I'll talk to you on next Sunday too. Thank you very much.